The Voyager spacecraft are very special parts of the journey into the cosmos, mainly because they are the farthest things we've ever shot into space, many times over. They have uncovered various images of space that have helped us redefine our place in the universe, as well as what's outside of our own solar system. But if you were to pay attention to the probes, you might notice something that doesn't quite make sense. We speak, of course, of their distance and how, at times, it seems to fluctuate for no apparent reason. So, allow us to ask, why are the Voyager spacecraft getting closer to Earth? Getting closer. For a few months each year, the distances between the Voyager spacecraft and Earth actually decrease. You might know that both Voyager spacecraft were launched into space in the 1970s and visited outer planets through the 1980s. They've been heading out of our solar system ever since. In 2012, Voyager 1 entered into interstellar space. Then in 2018, NASA announced that Voyager 2 had entered into interstellar space too. They are both headed outward, never to return to Earth. So, can they get closer? The answer is that for a few months each year, Earth in its own orbit moves towards the spacecraft faster than they're moving away. Earth's motion around the Sun is faster than the motion of the Voyager spacecraft. Earth moves through space at a speed of 67,000 miles per hour, 30 kilometers a second. Voyager 1 moves at a speed of 38,210 miles per hour, 17 kilometers a second. Voyager 2 moves at a speed of 35,000 miles per hour, 15 kilometers a second. So, for a portion of the year, Earth comes around the side of the Sun and is speeding toward the spacecraft faster than they're moving away. Therefore, their distance to Earth are getting closer, if only temporarily. They never change their outward motion. It is we who change. Every year from late February to the beginning of June, Voyager 2 actually gets closer to Earth. We measure the distance between objects in space in astronomical units, or AU. This measurement is based on the distance between Earth and the Sun, which is 1 AU. And every few months during the year, our distance between the probe shortens. And then it goes back to being farther from Earth. This is one of those odd wonders of space that can get people scratching their heads. Eh, what can you do? Except prepare for what you do with the next probe that you go and make. The new space race. There's no use denying it, Space Race 2.0 is heating up. But while the focus remains on public-private partnerships in low Earth orbit, space junk, and finally human settlements on the Moon and Mars, a remnant of that original space race spirit is beginning to awaken. The push to explore the outer edges of our solar system and beyond. Last year, China announced it was developing a pair of spacecraft capable of exploring the very edge of our solar system. According to an official industry newspaper called China Space News, the mission Interstellar Express promised the potential to enter interstellar space by the middle of the century. Of course, NASA already did it with the Voyagers as we described before, but NASA might not be done with deep space missions yet. In December 2021, the American Geophysical Union, AGU, met in New Orleans and revealed its nearly 500-page mission concept report that proposes the development of an interstellar probe. Ideally, nothing should prevent both missions from happening with total success. But, pending approval and complete development, there will be no denying the ultimate dilemma. Which one will do it better, China or NASA? NASA's new mission. Interstellar probe will allow us to understand where we come from and where we are going, said John Hopkins University Pontus Brandt, who works in the college's Applied Physics Laboratory, APL, according to a report from Scientific American. It is a mission to go beyond the boundaries of the heliosphere, the vast magnetic bubble that encases the entire solar system. By sending a probe to examine the nature of interstellar space beyond the sun's heliosphere, interstellar probe could reveal what lies ahead for the entire solar system as the sun and its planets glide into the uncharted territory of our Milky Way. In the last 60,000 years, our sun has glided through what's called the local interstellar cloud, LIC. This is a colossal region of dust and gas surrounded by an empty sphere of space that supernovae etched out of the Milky Way millions of years ago. But in roughly 2,000 years, our solar system will depart this volume of interstellar space and enter a new region. We have no clue what's going to take place when it does, said Brandt in the Scientific American report. But the Earth could be subjected to a radically different environment where more cosmic rays that reshape planetary climates and burn through DNA might abound. As for the Sun's heliosphere, that might change too, potentially swelling or shrinking to unprecedented levels. We just don't know, added Brandt. Time frame. Suppose the interstellar probe, 
a concept representing the work of more than 1,000 scientists, is ultimately selected by NASA for further development and eventual launch. In that case, it could exceed the scientific accomplishments of the legendary Voyager probes. Neither Voyager 1 nor Voyager 2 were designed to fully explore interstellar space, roughly 120 astronomical units away. And the Voyagers accidentally got there, said APL's McNutt in the report, who is Interstellar Probe's principal investigator. They just barely scratched the surface. The flight plan for the new mission would begin with a launch in 2036. The Interstellar Probe would weigh roughly 1,900 pounds and move at 37,282 miles per hour. That speed would easily top the previous speed record for NASA of 26,719 miles per hour set by the New Horizon spacecraft. If successfully launched, the interstellar probe would enter Jupiter's space in seven months and reach the sun's heliopause in 15 years, a feat that took Voyager 1 an astounding 35 years. They also have a plan for them reaching a certain point in 150 years. But let's not get that far ahead, shall we? Because they're not the only ones going after it. China's Mission China's Interstellar Express aims to send two spacecraft to the edge of our solar system, the front and the rear of the sun's heliosphere. This could reveal how space dominated by the sun's solar wind behaves in unprecedented detail. And according to the 2021 report from China, it aims to travel 100 AUs away from the Earth by 2049. This would coincide with the schedule of the interstellar probe and put NASA's and China's probes in the heliosphere at the same time. However, we've yet to see an official launch date for China's Interstellar Express. Still, an overview of the mission presented during the European Planetary Science Congress in 2019 suggested China might launch in 2024, enabling a flyby of Jupiter in 2029. The second probe would do the same in 2033 before visiting Neptune's planetary system in 2028. China's Interstellar Express would also repeat our outer solar system's grand tour, not attempted since the Voyager probes in the 1980s. But unlike NASA's potential interstellar probe, China's extrasolar adventure would involve a 110-pound spacecraft powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, launched atop Long March 3B or Long March 5 rockets. It seems the interstellar probe proposal would travel farther, faster, and discover more scientific data. It would explore our sun and its heliosphere and scout deep space. Cosmic horizons of knowledge at the end of a solar day, it's a bit silly to need NASA's spacecraft to be better or worse than China's, at least when it comes to purely scientific missions. The future Voyager probes. So what we have here is a build-off, a very exciting one if we can be honest with you, because this is going to determine not just what is collecting data amongst the stars soon enough, but also how fast we collect it. Because building in this case is only half the battle. They have to go and launch them and then make sure they get into the deeper reaches of space. And that takes time. Many years, in fact. But with technology always advancing, there is a chance that things might become not just more advanced than the Voyagers, but more efficient, better equipped for all that space can throw at them. We'll have to wait and see, but the potential is definitely there. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the Voyager and the reason why they actually get closer to Earth at certain points in their voyage? Do you think this is rather enlightening and are glad that you know this? Do you think that this is something that might be phased out in the next Voyager craft that is being made? And what happens with the Voyagers now? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.